So we've created our form and we've got all the settings right. You can have a look at preview and that's going to show you what the form would look like on the page in a like basic kind of way without any you know, page around or formatting. So what we want to do is we'll go to pages and we're going to put this form into our home page. So we'll go to the home page, our front page. And we're going to edit this page. Now there is a visual composer element for gravity forms. If you're not using visual composer, you can still insert it with a short code, but this element makes it much easier. So we're going to change our column here to a two thirds, one third to give ourselves some room. And we, when we click on the plus to add an element, we're looking for the gravity forms element. It's a little kind of gray uh, box with a G on it. And we need to choose the form that we want to show. So we picked our inquiry form. These settings I would normally leave as default. I don't really want the form title or description showing. So press save changes. And now you can see what that looks like. Of course, using the preview is a good idea because then you know if you've done the right thing or not. So there's our form. We've got name, email, phone, and the inquiry, and send the inquiry. And if I fill in that form, so you know, we expect people to do this when they're filling in the inquiry. Send inquiry. And you can see there's the thank you. Thank you for contacting us. We'll be in touch with you shortly. So that is all you need to do to get your form onto the page. So now we're happy with that. Press update and that form is then live on that page, ready for people to start contacting us. And if we wanted to add the form into the contact page or any other page, it's exactly the same process. Make a space for it, drop in the gravity forms element, Pick the form and done.